Welcome back to Nusida Training. In this video, I would like to show you how to implement automated tests with Gherkin in Test Complete. Please leave a comment in terms of any questions which we would be happy to answer. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you do not miss the upcoming videos with the latest testing news. Let us start right away. Here I have created one feature file named login feature which has one scenario that is valid login with its test steps. This test covers just the happy path. That means a successful login. The app is up, and the user is on a login form. So, this is the app. This is the URL, which is up, and user is on a login form. When the user enters a valid username that is Tom Smith, and when the user enters a valid password that is super secret password, then the user should log in, and a welcome message should display. This is the scenario I want to automate and here I am passing the hard-coded username and password. Once you have created or written your feature file, the second step is converting the steps into the step definition. One way to do so is just right-click here and generate the step definition. If it is already there, then it will not generate again. But you can delete it to force the generation. If the step definition file is empty, which is under the script, all I must do is right-click and generate the step definition. This will generate the script which corresponds to the test steps inside the feature file. Let me delete these implementation errors. Okay. Like I was saying, these are the hard-coded values, and this is the feature file with the acceptance test. Let us start automation. First thing is the given block, which is, app is up, and user is on login form. There are two ways of automation in test complete. One you can just directly record these steps. Just record the script or just right click here and record this routine and the other one is you can write the script here. Whichever one you are comfortable with, go for it. Let me show you both ways. I am going to write the script for the first step and I will record the rest of the steps. I am going to type in browsers.item. Since I am working with Chrome, I am going to pass the parameter VT Chrome. So, this is telling test complete to open the Chrome browser. It is a run method and going to pass the application's URL here. This step is going to open the Chrome browser and we will navigate to this URL which is this login form. Another step is when the user enters the valid username into the username field. Let us record this. Like I said, you must just right click on this function and record this routine. Now here it will show you the steps or the script that you are recording. When the user enters the valid username. That is Tom Smith. Let us enter Tom Smith and now you can click on the next step and the control will jump to the next script. Let us click on the next step and as you can see the control is now to the next successive script. Here the user enters the valid password. That means the string value of the password. Let us type this. Now, click on the next step and the control should jump to the login. Then the user should log in and the system should display the welcome message. Well, let me click on the login button. Okay. So, the user should log in and the system should display a welcome message, which is nothing but the secure area. Just hover over the title and it will bring up this small little plus symbol. Hover over it and here you can select the attributes with the right property. As an assertion, I want to evaluate that the welcome screen should contain the secure area as a title. I am going to select it and that is it. Now, I am going to stop my recording. As you can see over here our script is ready as simple as it is. First write the acceptance test inside the feature. Inside the feature file right click and generate the step definition. In the step definition either you can code the script, or you can just record it directly. Since we have the Tom Smith coming from our feature file, let us remove the hard-coded Tom Smith, and instead let us pass the perm1. Let us follow the same for this test step. Since this is coming from the variable at the project level, we do not have to worry about it. The user should log in. That is it. All set. Let us go back to the login feature file and let us run this scenario again. Right click, run this scenario. As you can see the automation runs through and it gave out a little warning which is nothing but the browser. It is already running. 
But other than that, as you can see, our test passed when the user enters a valid username, Tom Smith, and a valid password like super secret password. Furthermore, the added assertion about the successfully user login was able to see the secure area of the title. Now you may be wondering what you should do in terms of a test with multiple sets of data. Thus, let us turn it to a data-driven test. Okay. So, I am going to add the outline keyword to the scenario keyword. Then I am going to write the examples keyword below the test steps. Here I am going to type username and password. First, I am going to try with the invalid one and for the second row I am going to provide the actual username and password which is Tom Smith and super secret password and I am going to save. And here if you can recall from my previous video, we must provide the name of the column. Replace the hard-coded value with the name of the column. Let me replace it. If you recall, we must surround this with the angular brackets. This is the way of telling the Gherkin language that the data for this value is coming from this row. Now, this scenario will run twice. First with this row that is hubby for the username and Patel for the password. Secondly with Tom Smith for the username and a valid password like super secret password. So, the first time it should fail and the second time it should pass. Let us run this again and check it out. It is entering the invalid username, password and performing the rest of the test steps, which is indefinitely going to fail. So, this is the default timeout. It is waiting for elements to appear on a page before it fails. Seems like we are on the second iteration where it is using and providing the genuine username, password and it passed. As you can see over here the scenario failed. The reason is the first iteration failed while the second iteration passed, because it was the valid username and password. This is how you can construct the actual automation. I hope you have an idea how to automate a feature file. Go back to the step definition and either you can write a script, or you can just simply record the function to automate it. So that is it. Please leave a comment in terms of any questions which we would be happy to answer. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you do not miss the upcoming videos with the latest testing news. Happy testing and see you next time.